Lesson 3, Using Geometric Primitives To follow along with this lesson, you will need the code and setup from OpenGL Lesson 1. In this lesson, we are going to use some OpenGL geometric primitives to draw an American flag. The project and code are available for download at the top of this lesson page. However, I'm going to start with the code from Lesson 1 and make alterations to it so that you can see exactly what each change does. Now I've created my project and copied the code into it from Lesson 1. If we compile and run it, we see the 250 by 250 pixel window with the diagonal line in it. The first thing we are going to do is remove our old drawing code. Now our draw function looks like this, and if we execute the program, we see the same window as before without the white line in it. Now a flag is not square. In fact, the dimensions have a ratio of 1.9 to 1. To get the window to an appropriate size, we change the parameters of glut init window size from 250 by 250 to 950 by 500. If we execute the program now, we see the same black window but it is larger and longer. The first line of our initialize function calls GL clear color to set our clear color to all zeros. Colors in OpenGL are designated with red, green, and blue channel values and an alpha channel. So this function specifies that our clear color will have no red, green, or blue in it. That means that the color is black, and this is why our window was black before. Now I want the background default color to be the blue color of the background of the stars in the flag. This is a fairly dark blue, and we get it by setting the blue channel to just under one half. If we execute the code now, our window is blue inside. Next, we are going to draw the stripes on the flag so we will add this function to our program. The loop in this function runs 13 times, once for each stripe. The first if statement alternates the drawing color choice between red and white. Then we set the bounds of the rectangle. We are drawing our stripes from the bottom of the window to the top, and the second if adjusts the start of the stripe to make the last seven shorter. To draw the stripes, we use a rectangle drawn with GL quads. Finally, we need to add a call to the draw stripes function inside of our draw function. Executing the program after this, we see our flag without the stars in it. To draw our stars, we begin by adding an include for the CMath library so we can call trigonometric functions. Then we add our draw star function. This function draws a single star at the location that we pass in. The star is an inner and outer radius, which we set in the beginning of the function. The star is drawn with a triangle fan of 10 triangles with a common vertex at the center. The first triangle looks like this, and subsequent triangles are drawn in counterclockwise rotation around the star. We alternate the drawing with this if, depending on whether the long or short side is first. Now, we add in the draw stars function. This function cycles through the 9 rows of stars and alternates between drawing 5 or 6 stars in each row. Finally, we add a call to draw stars in our draw function. Executing the program, we see our flag fully drawn. This concludes the lesson.